Welcome back launchers. In this video, I'm going to explain how easy it is to enable a payment method so you can start accepting payments from your visitors today. Now, in order to do this, you'll need to log into your store's dashboard and then go to settings. You'll need to scroll all the way down, go to settings and then click on payments. Now I'm already on the payments page. And on this page, we offer you multiple payment methods that you can enable. They range from Stripe to PayPal, to NMI and to OpenNode. Now, this is a required step if you want to accept payments from your e-commerce store. So you will need to enable at least one payment provider. The ones that we recommend for new e-commerce sellers are Stripe and PayPal. They're by far the easiest to set up and they're accepted um, in many, many countries from all over the world. Now, if you're an advanced e-commerce seller, maybe you're a high volume seller, you might consider NMI if you wanna use your own payment gateway. It's a much more complicated process, but for high volume sellers, this is a fantastic option. Or if you wanna accept cryptocurrency payments like Bitcoin, we highly recommend OpenNode as well. Once again, you can enable multiple payment providers. This will give your uh, store customers even more options to pay from you. And we do recommend that. Typically, we recommend that you set up Stripe and PayPal to give your visitors the best options when it comes to paying you. Now, to enable any one of these, it's pretty much a similar process. You just find the one that you wanna enable, you click connect and enable, and this will take you to their authorization setup. Now they're all a little bit different, but if you don't already have an account with one of these payment methods, you're gonna need to create an account. They might ask you some for some personal information, they're going to ask you for your bank information so they can make direct deposits right into your bank account. They're going to ask for your website URL and so on and so on. Now we have setup docs on all of these payment methods and you can find those individually. I'm not going to go through that process now to save time, but as soon as you do that and you hit save, you're going to be redirected back to launch cart and your store will be instantly enabled for payments for that particular payment method. It's all very easy. Now, some things to know, each one of these payment methods does take a, uh, uh, they, they do charge a certain rate. It's a very typical and it's called a processing rate. And you can find those rates under each one of these. They're all about the same. Uh, they do vary. And depending on your process volume, if you're doing a lot of volume, you can even work out to get better rates from them. Now, if you are on the launch cart free forever plan, then we will take a platform fee of 3% off of your total sales. That is how, uh, you know, that's how we make money here at LaunchCart if you are using our free forever subscription plan. However, if you wanted to remove that, like I have done here, then all you need to do is join one of our premium subscription plans. It's up to you which one you choose, but that will remove our platform fee instantly. So this is a required step. You will need to create and, and enable a payment method, but it's very simple to do. And if you need more help, you can search our help desk for in-depth explanations on each one of these payment methods here. Also check back at this list because we do plan to offer even more payment methods in the near future.